What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JG21, in the house. And today, we're back with another review. Now, if you guys didn't see, I recently did a review on the Nerf rival Hera. And if you want, you can go check out that video before this video. And it was a huge success. Still got one of the rival rechargeable batteries in it. Oh, well. But today, we're going to be doing a review on a really, really big blaster. This is the Nerf rival Hades. The Hades is a Phantom Course Blaster, and it is actually the bigger version of the Nerf Rival Artemis, which is a pump-action spring-powered magazine, inter like, internal magazine-fed blaster, and it has a unique way of loading it. So, this is the Artemis Blaster. I never did a review on this, but, yeah. I have both blue and red one of these. And now, I finally have the bigger version of this thing, the Hades. So, here's the front of the box. Side shows you other blasters and accessories that you can collect, such as the Hera, which we reviewed, the Helios, I did a review of that, and then that's it. It says Phantom Corpse there. Other side says Phantom Corpse as well. And then on the back, it shows you what it comes with and other blasters that you can collect. So yeah, I'm excited to see this blaster because I remember seeing the Arbness and that's cool, but once I saw pictures of these, I thought that this is way, way bigger and very, very cool. So, this up. Jeez Louise, this thing is big. 60 rival rounds. Yeah, this thing holds 60, and the rival Artemis can only hold 30. So that's basically taking two Artemis blasters and combining this one huge blaster. Scissors. God, this thing is huge. Okay, so included is the blaster itself, 60 rival rounds, team inner care flags, and the instructions, which I did not pull out. Oh well. Okay, so we'll go over the externals of the blaster starting up the front. It has four barrels on here because when you pump it back, this thing does spin like that. And then this is the Phantom Corpse logo. Here's the prime handle on the bottom. And up on here, we do have a tactical rail, so you can put on attachments if you wanted to. This part here slides back and opens up, so that way you could put in the rival rounds. And then once you're done, you close it up. This thing is long. I know there's a joke. And then over here is the safety switch, so when it's down, you cannot pull the trigger. But you can still prime back. But, if the trigger's up, you're able to pull the trigger. So yeah. And then, just like a lot of rival blasters, once you prime it back, you cannot prime it back again. And there is a little unjamming button here, so you would hold that down, and you're able to prime again. So yeah. And then over here is this big space, which is kind of unnecessary. And then over here is a sling attachment point, and that's where the rival team indicator flags come in. Just like on every Phantom Course Blaster, nothing special, just same indicator flags. So I'll show you what they look like real quick. So they would just go on like this. And like that, there we go. Like that, and then Here's the red one looks like. Event. Alrighty. So, 60 rival rounds this thing takes. And, like, it's very... You could do this with it. Because, like, here's the Artemis. This thing is, like, so big. Or, like, get another Artemis and you got a Hades. So, yeah. It is very, very big. So yeah, and it does feel comfortable because on this one, you would just do that. Like, no one would do this. But Nerf has actually made something where you can put it against your arm and be so comfortable. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to load the rival rounds. Now, 
This has three tubes on it, and I'm guessing that each tube takes 20 rounds since there's 60 in total. And just and on the Artemis, each slot takes uh, 10 rounds. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and load that up. This might take a while, so sit back and relax and enjoy this loading time. Careful, keep the rival rounds in the bag, and then just start loading. It has it has a big space though. It is very, very big. We just go back like that. And then you just fade it in. Alrighty. After that long time, it's all loaded up. Let's see how it fires. jam okay, I think I got it another jam seriously And if you want to, the blaster is also slam fire, so that means if you hold down the trigger and just keep pumping it up, should be good to go. Wow, this thing is huge and performs very, very well. I'm happy with this. This is a very cool blaster. It's big too, so. Yeah, that is it for this video pretty much. Big, big blaster compared to the Artemis. So, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. Like and subscribe, check out all my other videos at GG21. Share my YouTube channel with your friends, turn on post notifications, follow me on my social media links, I'll put those in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember, it's nerf or nothing. Peace.